Gretchen just earned her private pilot's license, and all of her time is in a Piper Archer. So why am I about to get into a Cessna where Gretchen is piloting command? Okay. Clear for up! I'm in beautiful Puerto Rico, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited because I finally have a vacation after so long. I'm out here with my girlfriend and her family and my family, just having a great time. The empanadas, mmm, hot and fresh, and the smell of the ocean, salty in the nose. Of course, I couldn't resist. If you go out to an island like this, you gotta see it from the sky. When I was younger, I always loved airplanes, but I di didn't really see myself flying an airplane because I never saw any women pilot. So what I wanted to do, I remember telling my mom that I wanted to be a flight attendant. And she was like, why? Because I always want to be in an airplane. Then why don't you become a pilot? Because we can do that. We were girls. And I never had that encouragement, and I never really had anyone to guide me on that path. So I discovered that on my own a few years ago. And a few months ago, I became a private pilot, finally. And I wish I could encourage women to, you know, to give it a shot, to realize that we can do whatever we want, we want to do. You can tell this episode is going to be a little bit different because this time, I'm not at the controls. Sit back, relax, and watch as Gretchen takes us over San Juan. It's another tower, Cessna, 4700 Tango, uh, being capital inbound for Chechango, Rowan Island. Today we're flying out of Isla Grande Flight School. It's located on the Fernando Luis Rivas Dominici Airport, that's Tango, Juliet, India, Gulf, and Puerto Rico, and it's actually located underneath the shelf area for the Class Charlie to the San Juan International Airport, or the Luis Munoz Marin International, that's Tango, Juliet, Sierra, Juliet Airport. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. All of my GoPros were basically left behind in Dallas, Texas. A uh, snowstorm in Denver basically delayed all of my bags. Long story short, I'm using an iPhone on the dash and my DSLR that I happen to bring with me to kind of point back towards us. And in the back seat, my iPad. Hey, sometimes you just gotta get creative.
Is he a real port? Uh, I've been one? to someone international, but that's a Charlie or Space. Yeah. But it's okay. not really that busy. But yeah, yeah. It's still pretty busy though, yeah. And then Bravo Airspace. So do you sometimes sit there and you like... You just, when you're in the airline, when you're, have you ever, you've flown an airline before, right? Like you said, you've sat in a 737 yeah. as a passenger. Do you, do you sometimes think, like, do you try to imagine, like, what if, what would you be doing if you were in the cockpit? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Almost in a third ground, check. Okay. Heading indicator, con nuestro magnetic compass. I'm set. Picture, como si hacemos el density altitude de este airport está a 2000 más o menos elevation, vamos a alinearlo un poquito. Le damos para take off así un poquito wind. Primer. Vamos a lock in a primer. RBMs. she did like basically the second run up where she brought her engine up to full operating power instead of just relying on the 17 to 1800 rpm that she used during the run up she told me that it was just a really good redundant check to make absolutely sure that the engine is not going to fail on takeoff yeah doesn't sound like a bad idea <laughs> Yeah. 
At this point I pulled out my little handheld GMRS radio. That's just a couple of little handheld bubble pack radios. Got a hold of my family down on the ground. It's kind of fun because I was actually able to make contact with them and hears them pretty well. For those of you who are wondering, yes. I totally recommend that you get your GMRS license so that you can talk on radios like that too. I know, it's a total nerd alert, but you know what? It's kind of fun. So just give me that. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to flying. <laughs> I wish you could be my friend later. <laughs> okay? What? Oh, oh, it's 808. Yeah, I caught you guys loud and clear. What's up? Hey, let me get back to you, okay? Give me a second. Tango Tango, Bin Capital, Lima, Fort Dutch and Go. Number 9, Tango Tango, 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 Good job. Thank you. Okay, that right there is called El Morro. Well, that's a nickname for it. It's kind of like an old that's fort. Perfect, uh, it helped protect the island back in the Spanish okay. days. Wow, that's funny that the pattern takes it all the way out by El Morro. Yeah. <laughs> that right there is Old San Juan. Do they get mad if you fly over El Morro? Okay, let me spare you the drama of having to try to hear around all this crazy noise. Uh, we didn't get much time to set up our audio, but basically what Gretchen is saying is that the trick the CFI's teacher is to be a beam the Coast Guard base at 500 feet. That sets you up for a really nice glide path down to Runway Niner. Yeah, but 500 feet, it's a trick our CFIs teach us too. Since we don't have a Basi lights, we, we do have Basi lights, but don't follow the Basi lights on the airport, on this airport. We don't have Papi lights, so what we do is when we turn uh, left base, we have to be about 500 feet uh, beam Coast Guard point. 
So that's, you know, it's a pretty good altitude to land on Roman Island. So you want like 500 feet when you're, oh no, 500 feet when you're being the Coast Guard sign. Coast Guard right here. Okay. Oh my god, that was beautiful! <laughs> I know! <laughs> you, made, you made up for the last time. <laughs> I did, I know. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Remember at the beginning of the video when I said that I was about to get in the plane with Gretchen whose total time has only been in the Piper Archer? What I meant to say is that her total training time has been in the Piper Archer during her private pilot training. Right before we got on this flight though, Gretchen went ahead and hooked up with a flight instructor, like literally before I showed up and got a familiarization flight in the Cessna 172. Basically, Gretchen is licensed to fly any aircraft single engine land, and well, the Cessna 172 counts, so she just needed to learn a few of the quick quirks, spent about an hour in the airplane, and here we are. They see us, they're on the rocks. Really? Yeah, it's a lot different than the Piper, on spe uh, especially on the landing. The Piper, uh, it's heavier, it feels heavier, so you have to land it with power, because if not, you know, you're gonna screw it. On the Cessna, it's the opposite. It floats a lot. You're gonna, you know, quit the power, cut the power on like at 50 feet, and then flare it. So you have to be careful. You can flare, flare it a lot. So it's gonna do ballooning. Were you surprised so. when you did the landings you did? Yeah, pretty much. Yep. I thought it was screw the landings. I was gonna screw the landings, but that was my best landing ever. Like ever. Like the first one, I was like, what the hell, really? So, yeah, I was very surprised. Wait, when you say best landing ever, you mean like today, right? No, like, like in all my training. <laughs> like, seriously, I've had good landings, but this one was, did I land? That, like, did, did the plane touch the ground? Oh like, what? <laughs> Am I still flaring? Oh my god, am I still flaring? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. I just have like, less than an hour on this one. Uh, so now it's a yeah. But they all fly about the same. Hold on. Inside the tower, Cessna, 479 Tango, uh, being capital inbound for Chechango, runway 9. Inside the Tango, Tango, runway 9, Chechango. Safe for Chechango, runway 9, 79 Tango, Tango. Super Tango 3, contact on 132105, third flight. Tango Tango, be advised, uh, you're supposed to do a full stop taxi back. Okay, full stop taxi. 
So they're like closing the flight school, huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah, we got guard paint on, another nacho flaps. Gotta trim it a little bit. At this point, the iPhone, the one that was giving us our dashboard view, it shut down. Not exactly sure why. Definitely one of the most difficult shoots for me without the GoPros. With all that being said, though, we were able to salvage this angle, and we get to watch Gretchen's landing anyway. Yeah, you felt it. Good. Oh. That was nice. You really have the instinct. Yeah. You can kind of feel it. That look that Gretchen has right there, it's called Nailed It. Haha. <laughs> Great job, Gretchen. She did that better than 95% of the pilots I know. Just saying. And don't get yeah. a big head about it. No, I won't. <laughs> After we parked the plane, Gretchen and I had a quick debrief interview. You got to see some parts of that interview throughout this video. She told me a few more things that I think you all might find very interesting and I wanted you to hear before we wrap things up. So it took me about a year because uh, I ran out of money. Um, I was working full time, I was studying full time, so it was, it was hard. But a few months ago, I finally uh, got my check right, got my license, yeah. I tell a lot of my friends, you know, uh, I mean, anybody wants to become a pilot, yeah. I try not to lie to them. I always say, yeah. like, look, there's some. Yeah, don't sugarcoat it. Uh, That's what happened to me. What happened? People y used to sugarcoat it, like, you can do it, like, you can do it, but, yeah, I can do it, but, you know, I have to be realistic about it. It's really expensive. But it's worth it. It's I, worth it. Every time you spend a dollar, it yeah. goes in your logbook. And, and there are ways to get money. I, I, I got a loan um, and I, I also I was working. So get a job, you can get another job and save for flight lessons. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard. I'm not going to tell you that it's easy, but you can do it. She said get another job. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So a huge thank you to Gretchen. Definitely a big, big, awesome opportunity to be able to fly with you. And I know you keep saying thank you to me for giving you the opportunity to record it. So let's just call it even. Another big thank you to the Isla Grande Flight School. You stuck around and you let us have a couple of circuits around the pattern right before you guys closed. Thanks a lot for just getting us in there. And a big, big thank you to all of you watching. It's so fun to see the viewership numbers go up on these videos, so I can't wait to start doing these regularly. And finally, thank you, familia. All of my family who kind of put up with me while I left them for a few hours at the beginning of our vacation. From the looks of the video you sent me, you guys had a really rough time without me, didn't you? <laughs> Until next time, may your flights be beautiful and your nights be filled with the sound of cookie, cookie. Haha. <laughs>